Hello friends, this video on breathing and exchange of gases part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, let us uh, talk about the last topic of this lesson that is the respiratory disorders. Now since we saw how important the respiratory system is, how important breathing is, how important oxygen is to get energy inside our body. Now there are many disorders which are associated with this respiratory system. Since there are many organs involved, so there can be something wrong which goes with any of these organs which in turn can cause serious problems. Some of the common respiratory disorders are asthma, emphysema, pneumonia and occupational respiratory disorders. These are some of the common disorders. So let us quickly have a look at the cause and symptoms of these disorders. So we'll start with asthma. Now asthma is a very common problem which we often see in uh, people around us. So it is a very common problem actually. Some people have this problem since their birth. So what is this? Uh, what are the symptoms when somebody is suffering from asthma? They generally find difficulty in breathing. So you will see that they often tend to breathe uh, in a, uh, a very different way. They do not breathe normally. They tend to take, try to take in some extra air as if there is scarcity of uh, air inside. So they generally have difficulty in breathing and what causes this? It is caused due to the inflammation of bronchi and the bronchioles. Now if the bronchi and bronchioles are like inflammated, they do not pr function properly. So even though we breathe in, that is not properly sent to the alveoli because there is some issue with the bronchi and bronchioles. So they are not able to reach the alveoli. If they are not able to reach the alveoli, they are not able to reach the cells of the body. So the cells are deficient in oxygen. So they need more oxygen and that is why the patient tend to breathe in a different way. They tend to breathe faster. They try to take in more oxygen. But due to the inflammation of the bronchi and bronchioles, it doesn't serve the purpose. Next is emphysema. This is another disease where the symptoms is again shortness of breath. Now since the respiratory system is all about breathing, so any problems generally give out a symptom of breathing problems. And the cause here is the damaged alveolar walls. Now if that what would happen, what do you think can happen if the alveolar walls are damaged? You remember the I was talking about the uh, membrane, alveolar membrane. Now, if those membrane get uh, damaged, what will happen? Those are the membranes which are used for gaseous exchange. Now, if those membranes are not at all there, how will the gaseous exchange take place? Now, how these walls are broken down? This happens due to a lot of cigarette smoking. And that is why it is often said that cigarette smoking is injurious to health. That is because due to smoking, most of the respiratory disorders occur because it actually spoils the walls of the alveoli. That is how it impacts the lungs. Sometimes it can also lead to lung cancer. So that means smoking is actually injurious to health. And these kind of diseases can often lead to death. The next one is pneumonia. Here again, the symptoms would be short of breath. So you often feel the scarcity of oxygen and this happens due to infection of alveoli due to bacteria or viruses. So if some microorganisms get inside your um, respiratory system and that is why in order to protect your alveoli, in order to protect your lungs, that is why you have the mucus and the ciliated epithelium throughout your nasal cavity, throughout your nasopharynx, so that you can get rid of all the microorganisms. But still, if somehow they get inside, they can cause infection of the alveoli. And you know, alveoli are the main part of the, the most important functional unit of lungs. So if alveoli, something wrong happens with the alveoli, you, I mean, it is sure that some respiratory problems would come up. Now, the, in this case, it happens that some tissue fluids tend to accumulate in the alveoli and as a result, the effective surface area which is used for gaseous exchange reduces. Now, if a lot of alveoli are affected in this way, then the patient will not get sufficient oxygen and he might need supplement oxygen from outside. The last one is chronic bronchitis. Here the symptoms would be persistent cough. The patient tend to cough, cough a lot and that happens due to the air passage clogged with mucus. 
Now, as I have mentioned that the nasal cavity, nasopharynx, they are all lined up with ciliated epithelium and also mucus for protection purpose. But if a lot of mucus gets deposited at one place, at that time, if there is any irritant which reaches the bronchi or bronchiole, it will increase the secretion of mucus. And due to over secretion of mucus, the air passage will get clogged and the patient tend to cough a lot. So these are some of the respiratory. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.